Hello, Gemini. I hope you guys are doing awesome wherever you are. So, Gemini, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to see what's happening. Uh, first, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, what you'll be dealing with, facing, and how you're currently doing on this soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, the person that you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact or not, we're going to ask what's going on with your soulmate, how they are relating to you emotionally and what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling, especially in relation to you, Gemini. Let's see, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini, for Gemini's highest good, please, universe. What's coming towards Gemini? What will Gemini be dealing with facing? And how is Gemini currently doing on this soulmate journey they on? Oh, this one wants to come out very strongly. Ask extra message, Gemini. Two of Swords. This is something, there's something that you're very indecisive about. Um, you feel like you need to make an important decision in your life right now. Uh, could be anything that's heavily weighing on your mind because it's showing up in position one. You feel it's very important and you're going to have to make a decision. Yeah, this is temporary energy. So eventually you will see the right path, uh, the right way in which you need to proceed. Oh, for some of you, this has to do regarding job, business, finances. Wow. This is you feeling very unbalanced. Uh, so some of you are definitely dealing with issues with finances. You're worried about some kind of financial situation in your life, whether it's to do with your job, investments, income, business. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. This is you very stressed out, but this is ending of this cycle. So you're going to arrive at a decision soon. <clears throat> soon enough, we'll, you need to see how to handle this matter. This also shows another very important message. Uh, you feeling very uh, connected with your soulmate, but you feel a lot of toxic energy, like something is off, something is not right, disconnection between the two of you. <clears throat> sometimes you're not sure if you miss them or not. Sometimes you feel you miss them. Sometimes you do not. Wow, <clears throat> a lot of you are dealing with Aquarius, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, this is you pondering, thinking, feeling it's not the right time to make that important decision. Uh, anything that's weighing heavily on your mind. Yeah, you see, two of pentacles twice. This is you trying to figure out the best way to proceed. Yeah, this is you and your soulmate not seeing eye to eye. This shows disagreements. Uh, a lot of you are dealing with workplace where there is uh, a lot of drama between people, people not getting along, people not completing their tasks, uh, bickering, gossiping. Mm. This is you wanting to be financially independent, not worry about any type of finances, <clears throat> finance issues, uh, job. Uh, this also means that you are single right now, meaning you're not in a relationship with anyone at this time. You are single. Yeah, this is you feeling a uh, strong desire to act, to make a strong decision for yourself, but you are not doing it right now. Yeah, this is you. You worry too much. You worry too much. We all do it. So there's no need for you to feel bad about it. We all go through this. I often call this self-inflicted mental anguish. This is you worrying excessively too much. And when we worry too much, we can't see a big picture of what we need to do. But this is temporary. So don't feel bad about it. Soon enough, you'll see clearly what you need to do about your financial situation, job, business, and also your soulmate relationship. Yeah. Yeah, this is you taking your time. So a lot of you are worried about finances because all these pentacles showing up here. Two of pentacles twice, five of pentacles, seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles. This is you 
uh, wanting to make sure that you're going to be stable financially. Um, hmm. You have a lot that you worry about. Yeah, this is you worrying excessively. Yeah, this is you, but this is good because even though it feels like heavy energy, uh, this is you extremely stressed, overburdened with worries. This is ending cycle. Okay, so it's an ending cycle of this particular situation that got you worried so much. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Gemini. How is Gemini currently doing on this soulmate journey? This also shows problems with communication with your soulmate. This is you feeling heartbroken, sad, uh, at a crossroads, unable to see clearly what to do. Yeah, you feel very connected with this person, though, emotionally, past life connection with them. This is you reminiscing of them, thinking of them. This is the love that two of you shared together in past lives. Yeah, this is you. Something to do with your job again. Your job shows up here now. Oh, business. Job. Three of Pentacles is a job. So this is you. Some of you are wondering if you should find another job or get another position. Wow. The two of you, you and your soulmate, have a beautiful connection from past lives. You see, even though there are problems in this relationship, the two of you love each other unconditionally on a soul level. You see, the sun. The sun illuminates everything. This is the best card in the entire deck. So right now you feel at a crossroads, trying to make very important decision or decisions in your life. You can't see clearly right now what you need to do. You are stand still, indecisive, but because the sun is showing up, you will see clearly soon enough what you need to do, how you need to handle it. This is also love, healing, understanding, beautiful, <clears throat> beautiful energy showing up for you. After so many issues, uh, problems, yeah, this is Ten of Swords. This is you at the end of this a difficult cycle completing this difficult cycle yeah so some good news coming to you after so many uh, issues difficulties gemini universe please show us very important message messages for gemini's highest good regarding the soulmate universe universe the soulmate of gemini the soulmate of gemini what's going on with the soulmate of gemini and how is the soulmate of Gemini currently relating to Gemini? This one wants to come out. Oh, this one right here wants to come out very strongly. What's going on with your soulmate, Gemini? They want to communicate with you. So this shows unexpected communication. Page of Wands. Yeah, this person is hoping for some kind of guidance. They're hoping to receive some kind of communication. A lot of you are dealing with a Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, you see, they also feel the same stress that you do. Ten of Swords. This person feels very stressed out, unresolved. Yeah, you see, this is them praying, hoping, wishing for something positive to transpire, happen. Past life connection with this person here, the star symbolically part of the universe holding the two of cups, representing you and your soulmate for many lifetimes. A lot of you are dealing with Aquarius and Libra also. Yeah, you see, you both got this devil energy also. So the two of you feel unresolved, like you can't move on with your lives. Like this is something hindering you. Uh, from moving on, this is something unfinished, unresolved. You feel you need to clear the air with this person. Yeah, you feel uh, bound to each other. Like you can't let each other go with this with this devil energy in both readings we just did. So this person feels unable to let you go and you feel unable uh, to let them go. Let's see, universe, please show us what's going on with the soulmate of Gemini and how is the summit of Gemini towards Gemini see yeah fights disagreement showing up here yeah this person feels that it's like they praying for guidance but they don't really have faith in what they asking it's like they don't feel it's gonna be answered this is them hoping wishing praying but 
It's like they have no faith in, in it working out. Yeah, you both got the same energies here. Ten of Swords and Six of Cups. This person is thinking of you, reminiscing of you. Yeah, I see the tower. So there was some kind of breakup. Yeah, the devil and tower. So there's a breakup between you two. You guys are not together. Yeah, I see. Fights, disagreements showing up here. Uh, in the past, serious, this person feels heartbroken. So they feel heartbreak that they not discussing with anyone. Very strong Libra energy and Aquarius energy. Yeah, you see, this person wants to uh, be able to be on peaceful grounds with you, to clear the air with you. This person has been through a lot of heartbreak in their life, a lot of disappointment uh, because of other people. Yeah, they want to move on with their life peacefully. Yeah, you see, both of you got this also. <sighs> this person is not expressing to you how they feel about you at this time. Let me clarify this. Yeah, you see, this person wants to re-enter your life. They do. So I usually don't like emperor energy. It stands for somebody who is arrogant, stubborn, uh, want to control other people but in this case it's surrounded by very good energy so this person is showing up here as wanting to do the right thing they showing up as attractive powerful respected by other people wanting to handle this justly which is good oh is this heavy they feel very unresolved uh gemini they feel unresolved let's clarify this devil Universe, please show us how is the soulmate of Gemini doing and how is the soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini? Yeah, I see. This is them feeling blocked, scared. You also have this energy in your reading. So this is them feeling blocked, scared, unable to see clearly how this needs to be handled. Silent treatments are showing up here. You guys are not communicating. Yeah, this person is trying to assess the whole situation carefully make wise decision this is them looking over everything carefully they checking up on you they are heavily checking up on you whether through videos like this social media mutual acquaintances this person is checking up on you any way they can yeah this person wants to make right decisions regarding this they feel unresolved they want to communicate with you, clear the air, but yet they're not communicating at this time. So they know that they're going to have to make a decision because they can't fully move on. This is them feeling stuck in this situation. Yeah, you see, I just looked on the bottom of the deck. Here's five of swords, but the way it's painted, four of the swords pointing down, silent treatment between you two. But look at this. They are looking right at you, holding ace of swords pointing up with both of their hands so this person feels a great need to communicate with you to clear the air yeah <clears throat> yes they feel great need um gemini we're gonna go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true long-term intentions and plans for you then we're gonna ask what they hiding from you at this time whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, whether it's your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Gemini, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there.